All right, everybody. This is uh, going to be a little shout cast of a match I had today in uh, Diamond League. Uh, we have myself, G Team Beast G. Uh, I like to consider myself a, a mid-level diamond player. I mean, as far as Diamond League cons is concerned, I'm like the best, right? I'm as good as it gets in Diamond League because you have a lot of trash in Diamond League. People that are in Diamond League should not be like, oh, fuck, I'm in Diamond League. I've, I've reached the top. I mean, even the best of the best Diamond League players in the North American server are B. B-plus level StarCraft players at best. I'd say the same thing with Europe, too. But anyways, I'm not pro level. I do play tournaments. You guys may have seen me around. I do used to stream on Team Liquid, and if you guys are watching this, you probably found me through some sort of uh, medium that is for the more high-end level uh, StarCraft player. So I'm not going to explain any of the basic shit to you. Basically, I felt like I had a pretty good match here where I reacted well to a Zerg player that did the exact strategy that I've been having problems with. Jeez. Fast ex early expo, obviously, right? That's what every Zerg is going to do against a Protoss. Early expo, uh, and then out macro him. So I'm up here in his base, bad girl, whoever this is. It's like bad girl, or like bad girl, I'm bad. Grr, like a dog, bad dog. Uh, well, bad at StarCraft, that's all I know. So. Expo goes down. I know it. Go check it out. Oh yeah, this this fucker. I'm telling myself this son of a bitch, just doing what everybody does. You know? Oh, it's unstoppable. Back up to my base. Throw down an assimilator. Got my gateway. You know, just kind of droning. I'm not going to go for a, a two gate, three gate. Go kill the expo because that never works. Uh, it can work in certain situations, you know, maybe if you proxy, go up here, throw down a proxy gateway and try to punish that, but I feel like it's, it's pretty well balanced. This is the way you're supposed to play PvZ. Uh, Z is supposed to fast expo, and you can try to kill it with a couple gateways, but you're probably not going to be able to. So I build one zealot in case he comes for uh, some speedlings, and... I'm like, fuck it, I'll go check it out if there's no speedlings coming. Back to his base, I didn't know this, but he didn't even have his uh, spawning pool up yet. This is at the four minute mark. So if I had decided to go for two gateway, three gateway rush on the fast expansion, I may have been able to get away with it, but it's just not worth the risk, you know? I find myself trying to punish the expo and then just losing the match because I get out macroed. So it's not worth it this time. Fuck it, throw down the uh, Cybernex core, got uh, the gate warp gate technology going start getting some more gas doing pretty good on income obviously blue's gonna start uh, or red's gonna catch up really fast here blue is me G, G team beats G so there's a split second there where I'm actually doing a little better than him but that's just because he was moving everybody off of the main down to his fast expo alright pumped out a couple zerglings here chasing my zealot back whatever got a stalker out gonna try to kill the overlord this was a bad move I should have gotten down on the other side of the ledge if I was gonna try to actually kill that thing uh, queen moving down to the expo building another queen I'm assuming back here yep pretty solid zerg player I play zerg as well I feel like my strength of classes personally goes protoss zerg terran zerg and terran is about tied I'm getting more and more comfortable with zerg uh, 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 Terran late game. I felt like Terran didn't have very many options late game against Zerg and Protoss. They're all about early and mid game pushes. But I've changed my mind. I feel like Terran all around now is really, really powerful, really balanced if you know what to do. But that's not what we're talking about right now. We're talking about PvZ. And uh, this is an uphill battle, I feel like, whenever I play Protoss versus Zerg. It's pretty tough. He's got, you know, killing me on economy. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm like, all right, I'm just going to try to catch up. I'll throw down an expo. It's Metalopolis. I've got these rocks here. I can possibly defend it from any sort of speed lane harass. Got my warp gates up. I'm going to warp in a couple centuries and just try to defend a fast expo for for Protoss. We're at the about to hit the seven-minute mark, and it'll go up. So that's that's pretty quick. 
Go back to the Zerg. He's expanding the creep. Jerome in very hard. Just pulling away from me on income. No gas at the Expo Yeds, which, you know, looks like he should just pump a whole bunch of speedlings. But he's still drone in. Oh, got the Roach Warden down. All right, so my Expo's up. Going to transfer some probe, saturate it, blah, blah, blah. You guys know the deal. And here. Upgrade ground weapons level 2 must do if you're a Protoss playing Zerg, no matter what. Really early. Sometimes I'll do, if I know they're not coming for a bunch of shit, I'll do one gateway, one cyber, one forge, and just start upgrading. Look at that, I'm just chrono boosting that shit like crazy. Start upgrading my attack. Alright, so here I'm going to move out. Got a nice little force. Five sentries, that's enough to block and defend just about anything. He knows I got the expo. Sent a Zergling out there. So he knows that I'm trying to catch up on the macro game, but he's still way, way ahead. Look at that, 1,300 mineral income. Just droning like there's no tomorrow. And here he throws down a Spire at the 8 minute mark. I don't know about this. This is, this is what I feel like weaker uh, diamond level whatever Zerg players will do. I'm not saying this guy's weak. He's pretty, he's decent, you know, but I don't feel like a Spire is a very good idea for the money with the Fast Expo. Okay, you did all this work. You got this Fast Expo. You got crazy economy. You know, you can just totally run me over with frick roaches and speedlings. You know, why go for the cutesy shit. Why go for the harass with the mutas? It's not going to work against a decent Protoss player like myself. So, I don't know the mutas are coming yet, but I'm still just pumping out the stalker sentry because I feel really comfortable even if I see a massive army of speedlings come, which I'm expecting any second now, right? I'm expecting the speedlings. I feel pretty comfortable throwing down my FF and pushing them back. So building up the roaches and speedlings, this is a good idea. She, he or she, bad girl, should be out poking around. I guess he's got the uh, overseer, so he knows what I'm up to. But he should take this little strike force and at least poke, keep me honest. All right, spy, uh, Spire's finished. Researching the, the carapace. Roaches finished their upgrades. So they're faster on the creep now. And mutas are coming, I'm assuming. A couple spine crawlers. There they are. So now he starts pumping the mutas, which uh, as is, as an okay Zerg player, I gotta I gotta say I disagree with that. It's not a very not a very strong move at this point. Back to G Team Beast. I have no idea what's coming. I know he's got to have a crazy economy at this point, but I'm feeling pretty good. Like if I can defend whatever comes, I'm gonna be caught up here pretty quick. I've got my uh, natural up running. Okay, gonna start pumping the gas. Still drone in. Looking solid out the main. I need to keep drone in here pretty hard at the uh, natural if I'm gonna catch up. But I know that I can do that if I hold off whatever. So I'm still you know, throwing in four at a time. Uh, add two more gateways, and here I'm at six, which is pretty solid. I'm able to still kind of pump, you know. Here I see the mutas come, and I'm laughing to myself, right? I feel really confident at this point. Some of you guys, some of you Protoss players that I'm making this for, are freaking out at this point, like, oh, what am I gonna do, mutas, whatever. Save your drones, send them to your natural, send the mutas off whatever he's gonna Operator. get cutesy right and try to go harass your natural now whatever go down there defend it warp in some stalkers whatever it buys you time here my economy has you know been cut in half but I'm I'm building up an army that he can't stop with mutas right it's it's not like he can come kill me with a bunch of mutas. No, he's just gonna harass and be cutesy, but what the fuck ever. I've finished my blink. I've finished 1-1 one, one upgrades. You know, mutas aren't gonna do anything. I've got my natural and the main pumping pretty solid. Okay, here he comes. Oh no. Let's see. He's gonna kill one, two, three probes. Oh no. He killed three of my probes. Blink. Blink down. Kill one. One muta. Whatever. But pretty much... 
doing all right. So back to what he's doing. He's breaking in the rocks and right now. So he's got the right idea. He's going to harass with the mutas and come with his speedling roach army. But, you know, I've got a pretty nice size army at this point. He sees I'm coming to his base. I'm pretty sure. Well, yeah, he backs up so he knows I'm coming. Hive cluster is under 